Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this like grown and sexy type of vibe. Okay, like I am really liking this bob a lot. I don't really do bobs and if I do they're really short or really short. So I like this little like mid length, shoulder length, natural bob. It looks really, really natural. It could pass for my hair. I didn't do crazy baby hairs. I didn't lay it too much like a frontal i wanted it to look very natural like it was growing out of my scalp and i hope i'm giving well besides like right here i hope i'm giving that vibe so today's video is in partnership with eva wigs and i am like really impressed by the lace and the quality of the hair it's super light and just like it's like real hair i hate when bobs are like overly thick because it's just not really realistic. Most people who have a bob have a normal density of hair. It's not overly thick. So I just am really liking this a lot. Like, ooh, and it was super easy. So if you want to see how I got this look, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like this video and keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just a disclaimer, my nails look crazy. And my nails are probably going to look like this for the next two to three videos. So I'm just calling myself out before y'all call me out okay but anyways i'm working with eva wig today and i'm working with this hd lace do you guys see that we see the little phrase at the end that's how you know the lace is bomb okay so i'm just going ahead and cutting off that extra lace in the back and then i'm going to go ahead and tint the lace off camera and i'm just showing you guys the lace before i tint it it's still very much seamless like lace like this is super then you can get away with putting it on without tinting it, but of course it's always better to still tint your lace, which I will have a video on that very soon. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the wig. This is a bob. I believe this is a silky straight texture. It's 150% density and it's in the natural brown color. So to me it was a little bit lighter, but typically, I, it's just really weird. I feel like when the hair is like a lighter brown, it's better quality. Maybe I'm tripping, but that's just my, my view on it. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my wig like usual. Nothing changes, you guys. It's the same thing, different day.
So do you guys see how this hairline looks super natural? Well, to me at least, um, I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't do that like fronted, that frontal lifted kind of look. I just wanted it to look like it was coming out of my scalp. I tried my hardest. I haven't done a bob in a while, so I was a little stressed. Also, I did not do any baby hairs because I just didn't feel like it was necessary. I wanted to do something very like sleek, sexy, classy, and I just thought this little bob would be cute the way I did it because I left it the same length that it came. I believe this is 12 inches, but for some reason, you guys, the clip is not here. And also the other, me straightening the other side of my hair, I guess my camera was off or something went on, but I have no idea. So my apologies, but literally all I did was cut the end. So you guys are going to see when I'm done straightening it, it straightens so good too. Like I only had to do one pass, maybe two because I didn't get the root, but like one pass was more than enough on this hair. And it was just like super light. It was super airy. Like I absolutely am in love with this wig like it's very like it's like that everyday wig that everybody needs it's not like a a showstopper kind of wig it's not like that wig that's gonna turn heads but it looks very good and it is very very nice quality okay so they're up there with the quality okay because that's what matters here we want to serve looks but we also want quality so anyways after straightening the wig i literally cut off the ends of the hair because it kind of was like that awkward length I guess they give you kind of like wiggle room to figure out where you want your bob and how you want to style it. I wanted it to stay this um, length, which was like a little bit past my shoulders or sitting on my shoulders. So I literally cut the ends. I'm so mad that the clip isn't in here, but there's no point in even re-recording it because the hair is already cut. So it just is what it is. So sorry again, guys. <laughs> see the wig and you guys see the ends it's like very natural you can leave it like that too if that's your look because everybody does not like a super blunt look but this is when I cut the hair as you can see the, the clip change and the hair is cut but it's pretty much the same length I literally just pulled the hair to the front and snipped straight across that's all I promise you guys you can do it at home I will do it again in another video I'm sure I'll get another bob wig or I'll just want to wear a wig like this again so I would definitely demonstrate that for you and I just continued by slicking the hair down because I felt like this needed to be very sleek and not bulky because it's supposed to be a natural style so I went ahead and did that I tied my hair down did my makeup and that pretty much completes the look you guys this is one of the easier looks I know you guys like the easy looks because you guys know you can accomplish it at home so thanks so much for watching. why did I just clap like what <laughs> so thanks so much for watching you guys make sure you guys check out Eva wigs I will list everything down below in the description box and I will see you guys in my next video